Bismillah. Hey and welcome to the Muslim Life Coach Podcast where we learn about how to master our mental health, our wealth and our lives. And um, and this is it. This is all about creating the optimal life. So in this episode, episode number 37, I want to talk to you about something that prevents so many people from taking action, from creating the lives of their dreams and from really living the best life that they want to live. And that is anxiety. You see, anxiety, you know, it's, 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 a, it's that feeling in the body. It's that feeling of, uh, you know, apprehension, fear. Um, it kind of freezes you, right? That feeling it is absolutely a showstopper for so many people. And I know when dealing with it for my clients, like we we find that the number one problem that it causes for, for them and like for most people is that it stops them from taking action. And when, when, when you are st- stopped in your tracks, like from taking any action, from actually doing things in life, it means that you stop living. And it's, it's, it's such a destroyer of dreams that so many people struggle with and, um, and they have no idea of what to do or what is even going on. So in this podcast, um, I want to talk to you about, you know, I want to, because this relates to performance in life. This relates to um, how to get the best out of your, your energy, your time, your life, your day how to get the best out of what you do in your business, in your home. Like it affects every area of life. And all of the people that I've worked with when it comes to anxiety, um, they they get stuck. They get stuck and it stops them from really doing what they want to do in life. And, you know, many a times I've sent out messages to to uh, my um, my email list or to my to, to my contacts and and clients and and whenever i ask them about this like you know the, you know whenever i ask them about what it is that stops them from from you know doing what they want to do in life like um many of them it's 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 this fear or anxiety and um so you know it's really important that we understand what's really going on because what i find um is that most people don't actually understand what is truly going on so in this podcast i want to share with you I want to share with you exactly what I would share with you if you were one of my clients, right? Like, and and re, and the number one thing is is to really to help you to understand what's happening, because look, if you can realize what's actually happening, then it it gives you power to actually do something about it. For the most part, most people they don't actually realize what's going on and i'm talking about look even specialists you know specialists in you know whatever field but like even in the psychology field specialists in the psychology field like i find that so many people are struggling with this even though they are the people that are helping other people and you know it and that just shows us that's a human problem and even even it's like the doctor getting ill like just because you're a doctor doesn't mean you're not going to f- you know you're not going to fall ill right so it's the same thing so you don't need to beat yourself up or you don't need to give yourself a hard time just because you're the specialist and you struggle with it but what it is it, like you know there is a huge misunderstanding when it comes to this subject and um, and because there is such a misunderstanding so many people even the specialists remain stuck in this in this situation and so what i want to share with you in this is i want to help you to understand what is truly going on so i, I want to i want to give you like uh like um i want to give you an insight into um what is actually causing it f- possibly for you and that it may it, like the, my my guess is that what i share with you in this podcast will really show you like what is possibly going on for yourself or whoever you know that struggles with this right and if you know someone that struggles with anxiety then you know i urge you to share this podcast with them because you know my goal is to help you to understand what's going on because you know understanding changes lives 
understanding changes everything and that's why you know in 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 uh, in the quran um, the you know the very first of revelation was was uh, iqra read right why because um, when you understand like it changes the way you perceive reality the way you perceive the world and when you change the way you perceive the world it has a it has a like a knock on effect it's like a domino effect and it you know it'll go through all the way from your 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 perception your understanding your perception to all the way through to your actions and your results and and ultimately you can't change what you don't understand you can't change what you don't even see so you've got to be able to see it so that's what we're going to focus on so i want to share with you a story um it's uh I'm going to give you a fictional character. I don't want to give you like a, I'm going to give you like a very real situation. This it this is a real, very real scenario that you will probably resonate with, but it's uh it's it's not one of my clients. It's not, you know, it's not a real person. I just want to share with you something that is going to demonstrate to you what is going on. So I'll give you the story of uh of uh Zahra. Now, Zahra is a professional with responsibilities she's got her family her job um you know she has a team that she works with and she has to show up and lead meetings and presentations at times now this was never a problem for her before but there came there came a point where something happened and she started getting troubled with these feelings and she didn't understand what was going on now there was never a problem until she started to feel this you know this it's like a a surge of a feeling that is going up from the chest to her neck and it's going up and it's like this warm fuzzy feeling not a nice one but it's climbing up her neck and every time this would happen every time she would be in a situation where she has to do a presentation or she has to communicate with some people um she would you know it's like her throat would dry up she'd get all hot and bothered she would start you know her heart would race and she would you know she'd get you know like butterflies in the stomach and she would really feel stressed out and this would happen out you know this would happen like in the beginning it happened you know infrequently but then it it started to increase and it happened over and over again and she couldn't understand what was causing it and you can imagine you can imagine a problem that she would face is that if this occurs every time she has a meeting or has to do some sort of presentation or even when she's you know getting together in a you know big family gathering it's her family but she's getting together in a family gathering but she starts to have all these these physical reactions in her body and she starts to feel very self-conscious very self-conscious she starts to you know have these fears overtake her and she do, and she doesn't quite understand what's happening but ultimately the effect of it is that it it leads her to shying away from you know you know family meetings or family gatherings and you know shying away from or committing to do anything which means that she's going to be in in the spotlight where she feels like all eyes are on her so anything where she's going to have to face you know even one person or you know a a group of people especially a group of people and and this you know this is often referred to referred to as social anxiety but you know it, social anxiety could be within your own family it doesn't have to be outside so the thing is she has these these, these challenges and you can imagine this will really hit her confidence and she'll start to really believe that there is something wrong and the worst thing is that she doesn't know what to do and if she goes to uh, a specialist maybe um you know maybe she'll go to the doctors maybe she get some you know she'll be medic you know she, she she'll probably be prescribed something for for to calm her nerves um and maybe even go to some talk therapy and 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 the thing is all of that is like a coping mechanism but what happens to her is that over a period of time this really knocks her confidence 
and she suffers from fatigue she she uh, stays away from you know opportunities when they arise so any opportunities that comes along she will pass them by even though even though she's more than competent in 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 taking up these opportunities the, i mean the whole reason these opportunities come up is because she is competent like if you look at her cv if you look at her resume you're going to find that she's got loads of experience and she's got you know the qualifications she's got all of the stuff that she needs but then because of the situation she shies away from opportunities and look if this sounds familiar to you I, like i wanted to share this with you so that you could know that there is a number of things that causes this and this is what i'm going to share with you in this podcast right we need to understand why why would such a thing happen so there there are two very common reasons for why this happens. And so the first is that it is her past that is playing on her mind that causes her the problems that she has. Like very often we are challenged with the past. And some might call this, you know, bad memories, uh, some might call this post traumatic stress. Right, and you you might even get um, diagnosed with uh, you know post traumatic stress disorder. Either way, what often happens is that you'll be affected by what is going through your mind about what you previously experienced. And if you're affected by what's you know your previous experiences, and you're you're constantly playing these over and over again in your mind, and you're thinking about it a lot, like you're ruminating on this then this will induce stress it will induce fear and and just out of the blue whenever you're thinking about this like you will start to feel um, these anxious feelings and and this is very often a chronic cause of stress like when we focus on the past in that way because most people look even when i deal with you know all of the people that i've dealt with when it comes to this this subject like I find that like so often they struggle with the past. They struggle with the past. And, and what it is is that they're playing it over and over again. They're playing it over and over again. They're ruminating on these, on these occurrences and they're finding it difficult to let go. And when that happens, then of course it creates. It creates because the mind just accepts it as though it's a reality. And when that happens, then you start to get the feelings of stress and you know, your feeling of being on edge and when you really get when you're really ruminating a lot on these thoughts then what it will do is that it will cause that anxious feeling and that anxious feeling is the feeling of fear it's the feeling of fear of something that happened in the past recurring and uh, and that fear keeps you in a state of constant stress right so that's one of that's one of the key things that happens that you know that people with anxiety one of the key reasons um is the replaying of old memories or you know whatever happened in the past the stuff that you've not been able to let go of so it could be it could very well be for someone like zahra this you know she she's a professional whatever you know something may have happened in her workplace you know she made a mistake while giving a presentation and uh, and someone laughed and in her mind it you know she went crazy with thoughts she went crazy with thoughts thinking about all the things that you know these people looking at her are thinking about her and she feels this surge of emotions right like embarrassed ashamed like she's not good enough like you know it really hits her and when that happens like it it, it almost anchors it almost anchors those thoughts because there's a very strong emotion that she's feeling in the moment and then if she keeps on replaying this over and over again in her mind then that will that will recurringly create the same feelings and those feelings you know when she goes into work or you know so, a social environment like she's going to find that she's going to have a fear of that happening again and that causes anxiety that causes anxiety and i mean that that this is one of the things i mean that's just one example of something that is possible now the second possible scenario 
causing this type of stress is that of the future. You see, so many people are in a constant state of projecting the future of their lives. You know, some of the, some of this is planned. Some of this is, you know, they they plan this, you know, huge futures, and and they have this projection of what the future is going to be like, and uh, and this projection wouldn't matter if it was a nice one, but what tends to happen is that we project the worst case scenarios of what's going to happen. What if I make a mistake? What if? this happens what if that doesn't happen and we create these horrific scenarios about what's going to happen in the future and guess what when you do that it induces fear and uncertainty into your into your mind and when when you are in a state of fear and uncertainty then naturally you're going to you're going to become stressed and the more you ruminate on those thoughts the more you anticipate this happening like it will become debilitating it will become debilitating and it will stop you in your tracks and and as a result of these 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 constant rumination of thoughts like you become anxious you become fearful for what you anticipate and what you feel is likely to happen and this is a very very common situation like it's so common like you know my guess is that if you have suffered from anxiety and look let me tell you like i don't just talk about this from my experience with my clients i i i talk about this from my own experience you know my whole psychology journey like a part of it has been the fact that i myself struggled with this for a number of years so i know exactly um what you you know what you could possibly be feeling when you're having those moments and how it changes your behavior because when it happened to me like it completely changed my behavior i went from being this you know outgoing um confident person to becoming this this um introvert this this uh this person who you know did not want to be um the center of attention and in the social settings like you know i so this stuff that i'm telling you like the, the story of zahra i understand that completely in fact i resonate with that story more than anything that's why i'm telling you the story because i know it's very very real and so this is the kind of stuff that happens right and if you've had anxiety then then know for sure look know for sure there is always a solution and you may have looked everywhere but i guarantee you look there is a solution there's always a solution and the the primary thing to do is to first understand where it's possibly coming from and this is the key so you have this future projection you have this future projection and it's often very vivid and very real in your mind and it scares a person into a complete stupor right so let me just say many people have this problem and it's it's so common that it's unreal like anxiety in our times especially in this time is such a big thing like you know we are the creators of these horrible futures and we scare ourselves into a complete mental freeze and when that happens like you refrain from taking action it affects your energy levels like all of a sudden you don't f- you you start to feel fatigue and it's like a constant fatigue and it's the fatigue of overthinking the fatigue of you know what is going to happen and and being in a constant state of stress because your body is not built to be in a constant state of stress and when you are in a constant state of stress over a long period of time then what it does is that it zaps your energy it zaps your energy and before you know it not only are you not taking up you're passing by on opportunities but you are actually not doing things because you don't feel like you have the energy to do things 
and you get stressed out really quickly you get ratty you get agitated and as a result of that you you start to want to be alone because you don't want to misbehave with people you don't want to behave in that way and so you start to isolate yourself from people and then what happens is that you start to feel lonely you start to feel lonely even though there is people around you even though and 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 the worst thing about it is that people don't understand what's going on with you they don't understand what's going on with you and it is look it is a really difficult situation to be in and some people get so bad that they lock themselves away because of it but look i want you to think about i want to give you an example look you know you know uh this whole thing freezing and inaction and not doing anything in life and being stuck um we have you know you you've heard heard of the old fight or flight you know when you get into a fear situation you you get ready for a fight you run for it right now there is another i want to add another another um another dimension to this the deer effect like i made this up so don't you know don't go looking it up because i like maybe you will find it somewhere actually but like the when i say the deer effect what i mean is you know when you're when you're when you're driving down a country lane or you're driving down a lane at night time and um you're in the you're in the you know you're in the countryside or somewhere where there's deers and a deer crosses the road as you're driving the deer hears the car can't see anything because everything's dark or maybe it can see anything but it sees that your headlights your car headlights and when it sees your car headlights it just freezes it doesn't move it doesn't run for it it doesn't fight or flight it just freezes because it's focused on your headlights it's probably scared and it doesn't move and that's what we do you know when you have anxiety it's like you have been overtaken by the deer effect we feel like we're in the dark we see what scares us and we freeze and look i just want to remind you that this is not really happening none of it like the l- listen to what i said i said that you feel like you're in the dark you're actually not in the dark you can put the light on if you if it's night time right you feel scared because you feel like you're in the dark and you feel scared because you feel like you see something that's going to possibly go wrong it's not really happening if you look around you're okay it's not really happening so what really happens is that we play these scenarios of the future or the past and it creates this deer effect we get scared we stop and we just freeze and we freeze into inaction we don't take action we don't do stuff and obviously if you're not taking action and not doing the stuff that you should be doing then you're not creating anything in life you're not you know progressing and as a result you feel stuck you feel stuck you feel upset and my advice to you is it would be wise to let go of whatever it is that's going through your mind don't be the deer you are truly truly powerful your mind is so powerful look at the scenarios that it creates in your life like just like it creates the negative it can create the positive your mind is truly powerful you have the ability to direct and control your life as you so choose and that's the key you see you got to choose your way out of this and look i really i really wanted you to understand what is possibly happening for you so look think of, like it's a little bit deep what i've just shared with you if this resonates with you you didn't quite get it you listen to it in a hurry you're on the move whatever go back and listen to this again like understand what i'm sharing with you and and have a look at your own life and see is that what's going on for you because it like in my experience personally and with clients i found that this happens with so many people 
and the first thing is to understand really you just need to understand because that will make all the difference because most people I find they they don't really understand what's going on and you see so many people I work with have bought these types of problem or people over the years like I've seen it so many times like you know the specialist in anxiety suffers from anxiety I've seen this so many times and there is a solution there is always a solution and like I said to you like I know what it's like I know it's debilitating but the first key is and the most powerful key to solving this problem is through understanding it and taking action to changing it and you can do this your mind is under your control your life is within your your sphere of control you have that power the power of choice gives you everything so don't allow your thoughts to conquer you or to render you you know into this frozen mode the deer mode you don't want to do that and so okay so look i know this is a bit deep go back and have a listen to this if you feel like uh, this is what's happening to you then look you got you got to focus on your thinking because it's it's all being created through our minds your whole body everything it's all being created through that but if you need more help like reach out to me go to the muslimlifecoach.org and uh sign up to the email list like book book a book a consultation like uh reach out to me and uh we'll, we will see what's really going on but my guess is listen you could probably resolve this if you could understand this and that's the key and that's why i wanted to share with you in this podcast because it's so so important because what i found is like subhanallah what i found is that most people don't even understand what's going on and they think it's just a normal part of life and they and they live with it for years but when you live with this type of stress for a long period of time it has you know it has negative impacts on your physical mental and spiritual health and that's what this this type of life coaching what we do is all about it's about getting ourselves into like an optimum level of mental health physical health and spiritual health and if you can do that you can coach yourself through it you can coach others through it and ultimately you you can transform your life just by doing this just by understanding it just by taking action on creating the optimum state so anyway i'm going to leave you with that if you if this is new to you like go check out the podcast i talk about a lot of subjects around this around you know about the state of emotional health about how to be the best version of yourself and how to make money as a life coach because really our job is to amplify this work and take it around the world and the only way you can do that is to be an active is to be an active life coach and uh, and and either you're coaching yourself and look when i talk about being a life coach you know it's not always about not everyone that trains with me to be a coach wants to go out and do it for other people like most people want to do it for themselves but i can tell you for sure like once you get the results you you get the bug it's like you get the fever and you want to go out and share it with others that's how it works that's what i'm doing and i love it i love to i love you know this is why i do the podcast because i want to help you to get out of whatever it is that's going on in your mind so anyway i'm going to leave you with that jazakumullah khair go to the muslimlifecoach.org the muslimlifecoach.org this is the new site this is this this is the home of the muslim life coach institute um where we train people to get the best out of themselves i'm going to leave you with that i'll see you i'll see you and speak to you in the next episode jazakumullah khair